I want more people to know that when they're going through a storm, that it is in that storm that they will become a better person, a bigger person, a different person, a tougher person. And that when they look back on that storm, six months from now, a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, they'll say, God, thank God that I went through that. For if I had not gone through that, I would not be the person that I am now. Nowadays, when you know people approach me with business opportunities all the time, and like the first question I always ask them is, "Man, is this going to be really, really difficult to succeed?" And usually, they they think that the answer I want to hear is is no. So they're like, "Nah, it's not going to be that bad." I'm like, "Nah, I'm probably not interested." But the random person that's like, "Yeah, this is going to be really, really tough." I'm like, "Okay, well then I'm actually interested in hearing about it because it's probably going to be something that's worth doing." There was something truly magical about that statement because the reality is, anything that is worth doing, anything that is great or has the potential to be great, will not be easy. It will be incredibly difficult. So I say this as a word of encouragement to those that are out there building, those that those that are out there creating something new, those that are out there you know, selling day to day that if it's worth doing, it will be difficult. So those obstacles that you're hitting head on, push through them and get to the finish line because that is where the magic happens. Adversity is imminent. Uh, the environment, the scenario will never be perfect. It will never be ideal. There will always be situations, obstacles uh, that will arise. And I think as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a salesperson, as just a human being, understanding that on the front end, that there will be obstacles, that there will be adversity, that there will be struggles, uh, will put you so far ahead of the competition because you're, you're almost prepared and waiting for it. Because the purpose of the pain is to prepare you for the future pain. And you know, you've been on a big David Goggins kick lately. I think the world's been on a big David Goggins kick lately. Like he talks about callousing, like callousing your mind. That's what callouses are for. It's for when pain comes later on. And to me, like it's something I'm so passionate about is helping people understand that there's a reason for the struggle that you're going through. That there's a purpose in the pain that you're in right now. And that you may not realize until hindsight but there will be a reason. It may be a month from now, maybe a year from now, maybe 10 years from now, but there will be a moment when you go, oh man, now I get it. Now I know I went through that. It's, it's so that I can get through this. Adversity is necessary. Um, if you think about the process of growth, if you think about what it takes to become a better human being, to become a better business person, to become a better spouse, better father, better you name it, you have to go through some type of adversity in order to grow. And that's the purpose of it. Like that's the purpose of the pain in adversity is for you to grow into the person that's able to do the things on the other side of it. Uh, and until you do, you're stuck in the middle. And so to me, every struggle, every obstacle, every pain that I've ever been through has enabled me to get through what was coming next. And it almost makes me excited to go through it at this point. And I know that sucks for someone that's in it right now, because you're either in it, coming out of it, or heading towards it. And if you're in it right now, you're like, screw you, I'm in it. Like, that doesn't make me feel any better. Like, I'm not in hindsight yet. But to just know that there's a blessing on the other side of everything. But ultimately, you have to become the person that can receive it. And that's the whole purpose of pain.